so once you have downloaded the jam it will be in your download so like this so just the installer double click now it asks for you the permission press yes Set up. Oh, you just press next. Uh, already I have a folder called uh, jam. So first uh, let me about that. Let me delete that jam folder which is present here. So for this demo purpose I have removed that. Yes. Now, now I install that. Yes. Now it will create automatically a folder called Sam. And then next. Next. Take some time. So once it has been installed, you can start working on PHP. Now it has completed. Oh, I will press finish. Yes, once this now the exam control panel opens. You can you have to start the Apache server and MySQL database in order to work with the PHP so far. If you are going to use this FileZilla Mercury Tomcat, you can use it, but now uh, I'm not going to cover all these things, so only the Apache and MySQL. So now I have to start this. So you have to press this button and then my screen. After that, you can minimize this. You should not close this because now you have started a server and a database so that you should minimize and you can start working on this. Now we'll see how to write a small PHP coding and execute. Now you, you can open a notepad. This uh, PHP coding starts with the uh, this anchor bracket with followed by semicolon, sorry, question mark, and then the keyword PHP. Now I want to print hello world. So for that in PHP, we have the equivalent, equivalent of print as echo. Hello PHP, it is clear. And it ends with semicolon. All the statement ends with semicolon. Now you have to close this. Just like how you use open curly braces and closing curly braces for in C++, here we have this uh, bracket, which is anchor. And now you have to close it. So the same way, question mark and then anchor.
so here anchor question mark then here question mark and anchor now i am going to store this so where i i can store this you have to store it in the xam folder and within the xam folder there is a folder called hd docs i'll show you how to do that to so save where we have to store already uh, when it is asking i have installed it in my c drive so go to the the xam folder must have created see here so double click and hd docs you will find a folder called hd docs so within that i am going to store instead of directly storing i am creating a new folder called php prgs so that i can store whatever the php programs uh, i am going to so here let me give the name welcome welcome dot php how to uh, the extension for php dot php and you have to save it as all files or else the dot if you select this dot txt also will be added then it will not run so you have to save it take select as all files and then save it as welcome dot php which is in xam under the hd docs within that i am creating a new folder and within that we are going to write okay now it's over now what we are going to do we have to execute this program so how to execute now i open the thing and then yes open the browser now you have to give the path so hd docs xam hd docs can be referred as local host and then within that i have so I created a folder called php prgs and within that uh, given the name welcome dot php now how to give the full name name of the file to be full we have to give the correct path so there is no need for mentioning here uh, xam and then hd docs so both can be together called as local host so here our system itself is the server so whatever you that's why i told you you have to store it in hd docs so now let's press this see here i have written hello php now you will be able to execute in a browser 